Hello and welcome. I'm James Corden from Sky One. Today we bring you an important report. Let's head straight to Studio One at Sky Academy Skills Studios. Hello and welcome to Sky One. I'm Kira and I'm Darcy and today's report is all about celebrity cu culture. That's right. We are obsessed with celebrities and their lives. Looking for gossip on the internet is becoming increasingly popular with young people. Especially with the rise of social media, we can now follow our idols and find out everything about their private lives. YouTube has created a new type of celebrity, also known as vloggers. Some of the well-known names are Zoella and Alfie Days, who have made it big outside of the UK. YouTubers have made full-time jobs of, uh, of creating videos for their cha channels and earning money through YouTube. Some are now earning millions simply by uploading a 10-minute video of themselves talking about their lives. Justin Bieber became famous through YouTube after uploading videos of himself singing. Ah, uh, Justin Bieber. Uh, I should have known. I should have known this would happen. Shh. Well, that's all from us. Now over to Eloise, who will be speaking to Justin Bieber. What? Darcy. Hello Justin Bieber, you're on Sky News, how do you feel? I'm quite fabulous, I mean look at my luxurious hair. How do you cope with all your fans? Well they just follow me all the time and everywhere. They always want to take selfies with me and beg for autographs. Most people think you're arrogant and insane, how would you react to this? I just ignore the haters. Haters are going to hate, 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 hate. Just like my darling Taylor said. How many people follow you when you're shopping? I would say the entire shopping centre. Maybe I'll have to reserve my own from now on. Can I have your autograph? Oh, no! Now over to Charlotte. Thank you. Thank you, Eloise. Hi, I'm Charlotte reporting back in the studios. And as you know, we are talking about celebrities. In this final part of our report, we explore the impact of talent shows on the people that take part in them. In the UK, 2,600 magazines are sold every minute, 3.7 million every day. One of the most popular types of magazines is the fashion magazine. Some ex-celebrities, such as musicians or film stars, have used reality TV shows to try and bring back their fame. New celebrities have come from TV talent shows, which have been between 9 million and 10 million people watching every show. To talk about this more, I am now joined by X Factor winner, Addy and runner-up Dylan. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thank you for having me. You're lucky to have me here. I won X Factor 2014. Yes, you did, but since then you haven't done anything. That's not true. I sang at a sweet 16 birthday party the other day. Right, well, let's get back to the point. You were both on X Factor. Dylan, you came second, but you are now way more successful than Addy. Why is this? I don't know. I just worked really hard at my passion of music and the fans seem to love it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on one minute! He's not more famous than me! I went back to 2014! That was two years ago. Stop going on about it. Yeah, it's not about then, it's about now, and I don't mean to hurt your feelings. I just think you can focus on the work rather than being famous. That's a good point. Do you think it's because you focus on music rather than fame why you're so successful? Again, I don't know, but I think it might be... I love being famous, and I still am famous, because I will be going on a show because I won the X Factor, which is a new reality. 
reality show about people who won X Factor, trying to make it. Well, good luck with that. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for. Thank you both for joining me, and thank you viewers for watching. Goodbye for now. Thanks for watching, and thanks to the brilliant team at Sky Academy Skills Studios.